As you know, I love power stations and being prepared in the event of an emergency. And Blue Eddy has sent me out this power station that I really wanted to show you guys. So as of right now, Blue Eddy has not come out with any versions of their power station that has wheels, that is very mobile, easy to move around like a suitcase until this guy right here. This is the Blue Eddy Elite 400. This is a compact 110 volt power station that has a great capacity and is very versatile for many different situations. We can power our gas furnace, our fridge, our freezer, many different things with this versatile power station. So I wanna show you some of the features and then we'll physically show you how to get power to your gas furnace with a very cheap device that is UL listed that helps you just to get power to that device. You don't have to have a big fancy setup. You can just use this power station and the easy generator switch and get power to your gas furnace. All right, so this is our Blue Eddy Elite 400. This is a 3,840 watt hour power station. As you can see, we have a beautiful display right up here on the front. We've got full charge. We have our solar input that will charge up to a thousand watts of solar. We have our DC output like for a cigarette lighter or other devices. We have two USB C's at a hundred watts and two USB A's at 15 watts. We have our DC and AC buttons. So if we click this button, it will then give power to our four outlets here. And then we can put our DC and that will give power to these right here. So very simple on that front. This is just a 110 volt system. It does not support 220 volts, which I thought was kind of interesting, but we're gonna show you nonetheless how you can get power to your gas furnace with this power station. Something I wanna to mention too is that the wheels on this, um, comparing to the Jackery, are so much better. We've rolled this over gravel and grass, and these larger diameter wheels just, they work fantastic and they don't struggle or dig into the gravel, which I really love about this power station. Then over here on the side, we have our circuit breaker there. It's a 20 amp that we can push back in if we overload the system. And then of course we have our charging port right here that just plugs into a regular 110 outlet to charge. This power station weighed in at just under 87 pounds. So it's a pretty, pretty big power station. But again, we have this ergonomic handle and wheels like a suitcase design. And we also have these two on the side so I can easily lift this, move it around. All right, so we're acting as if we have a power outage here. We're gonna show you our fridge as well as our gas furnace being run and a specific device that allows you to get power to your gas furnace. So we're gonna walk you through that but first, let's go ahead and unplug our fridge. We have this slid out from the wall here. So I'm just gonna unplug this. And we'll pull it around and plug it in right here. And we'll see how many watts our fridge pulls. Okay, so I've got the door on the fridge open and it's just pulling the watts for the lights right now, which is hardly anything, 17 watts. So until the compressor comes on, we won't really know how many watts it's pulling. But while we're waiting for this, let's hop down to our furnace and show you this device that allows you to get power directly to your gas furnace. All right, so here's my gas furnace. It's currently just running the humidifier, um, just blowing the fan and the humidifier is on right here. But this right here is called the Easy Generator Switch. And this is such an awesome tool that I think any homeowner with a gas furnace should have. So let's just duplicate a power outage here. We're currently on normal or grid power. So we're gonna cycle this to the off position as if we just lost grid power. So if there was nothing happening in normal, we would just toggle this over to off. And now all we're gonna do is plug this into our power station that's upstairs by the fridge. So all we're gonna do is take the female end of our extension cord, plug it in right here, put this in generator mode, and then let's go up to our power station. All right guys, I just heard the compressor kick on. So let's see what we got here. What do you think, bud? All right, so we're 60 watts. <clears throat> let's see what this goes up to. Um, if we're pulling 60 watts with the compressor, that's amazing. It shows right here, we'll run for 52 hours at this rate. So we could power our fridge for several days if that was just what we're powering. Um, but of course our gas furnace is going to add to that load. Okay, so just to confirm while we're waiting on that to see what it goes to, 
we have nothing at our thermostat. It's just totally blank. There's zero power going to this uh, furnace or the thermostat. Now that's a common misconception that I get asked all the time is if your power goes out, how do you get power to your thermostat if you get power to your furnace? As soon as you give power to your furnace, your thermostat is going to get power because the furnace is actually where your thermostat gets power unless it is just battery powered, in which case you can still control your furnace if this is battery powered. It's just closing two contacts to tell the furnace to come on. In this instance, this is powered by the furnace. So we'll show you as soon as we plug in our power station to that extension cord, we'll get juice here. Okay, so it says we're pulling 78 watts now after it's been running for a bit. So these, this number went down here, but again, this is going to cycle on and off. This is not just gonna be running the compressor all the time. If you're not opening that door all the time, just in a regular occurrence, this is going to come on very seldom during the day. So we have our extension cord from our easy generator switch that goes to our furnace. We're just gonna plug this into another one of these outlets here. Okay, so let's hop over to our thermostat and make sure that we do indeed have power now. All right, as you can see, this is booting up. This is our Ecobee smart thermostat. So as soon as we plug that in, the easy generator switch is now giving power to the furnace and the thermostat via our power station. So let's go ahead and go in here and bump this up to say 72, 73 degrees, just to make sure that it does kick on all off of the Blue Eddy Elite 400. Okay, so right now our inducer is on as well as our hot surface igniter. That's why we're up here at 300 watts. As Soon as the hot surface igniter um, goes off, this number is going to go down a little bit See, it's going down as the hot surface igniter turns off. And then once the blower motor comes on, then this will ramp up a little bit more. So let's go down to the furnace and see what it's doing. All right, our furnace is on. We have ignition here, nice blue flame there. And the blower motor is about to kick on. So everything is functioning all off of this Blue Eddy Elite 400 and our easy generator switch. This is such an awesome tool. I'll make sure and leave this linked in the video description as well as uh, up here in the top left corner in case you're watching on TV. All right, so the blower is on. We've got hot air coming out of our vents. And again, this is going to cycle on and off as we keep the home at a certain temperature. If we're keeping it at say 55 degrees, it's obviously not gonna use that much um, electricity with the blower motor. So right now we're pulling 450 watts. It says we will run for 12 hours at this steady pace of just constantly being on, which is obviously not the case. It's just going to kick on and off. And this number could be a lot longer. It could be, you know, a couple of days with this power station. And uh, yeah, it's powering both items right now. We still have the availability to plug in two more items. We can even put a a splitter thing so we could plug in a couple of lights or whatever and then of course we have these as well all right so we've proved that this works flawlessly we're going to bump this back down to 68 degrees or 67 so it will kick off we'll let that cycle off and then we will show you how to do this in reverse order to go back to grid power all right so our furnace has had some time to cool off uh, very straightforward here to go back to grid power. All we're gonna do is go to the off position and then over to normal. And as long as we have grid power, we will then be powering our gas furnace via the grid. And we can just unplug this and store it and we're good to go. Well guys, depending on what your needs are, the Elite 400 by Blue Eddy could be a contender. So I'll make sure and leave it linked in the video description in case you're looking for a power station. Now, if you wanna see the full installation video of the Easy Generator Switch, it took about 30 minutes, it's 88 bucks. You can find that full install video right there. And until next time, you guys be safe. Later.